Hey guys, Dan here from Blank Shot Gaming. Welcome back. So today we're going to talk about something that's really near and dear to my heart, and that is rolling dice. I like to play board games, tabletop games, shoots and ladders, whatever it is, I enjoy rolling dice. So later on in the video, we're going to take a look at what's inside this box that I just got today from Nine Realms Gaming. But before we get to that, let's go over to the tabletop and talk about some of the more non-preferable ways in which non-sophisticated gamers may be rolling their dice. Here we've got our game board all set up, and we're going to play a friendly game of The Walking Dead with our friend. And he has spent countless hours sitting at his kitchen table, squinting his eyes, trying to paint these figures up. And we're going to roll our dice incredibly disrespectfully here. Don't be that guy. All right, so here we've got same setup, but now we've got this massive homemade dice box that we're using here. Now for this, I just went over to Hobby Lobby and got myself a wooden box out of their cheap wood section and slapped a piece of self-adhesive felt down at the bottom of it. It looks okay, but wait till you hear these dice inside of it. That's pretty loud. So we get rid of that too. And now, this is the current solution that I'm at. This is another piece of neoprene. But you can take this and turn it into a neoprene dice tray. So we do some satisfying snaps there. And now we have a smaller footprint. Same concept as that big wood box. So we give this guy here a roll. While it is quieter, it's just not what I'm looking for. All right, so now that we've gone to the table and we've seen what not to do, let's go ahead and open this box up and see what the solution is going to be. So here, once we open it inside, we've got this nice card from the company. We've got six sticker. Who doesn't like stickers? Central. This is nice. So we can see we got a little bit of branding there on the side. Leather lining the bottom of this. This is a nice dice tray. Some little feet down there on the bottom. Which is going to pair up nicely with this. package really well. So you can see sweet dice tower. And here's the tower and the tray paired together over here on the table. Again, this is from Nine Realms Gaming and this is from their Midgard collection. This is their dice tower and their dice tray together. And it is a big piece of nice premium gaming furniture, we'll call it. This tower is gonna to be nine inches tall and it's a hexagon across the top there. And at its widest, it's gonna be five and a quarter inches across. Now you can see the kind of these slats coming along the sides here. And this is actually going to be the baffles on the inside that the dice are going to roll down. And I like having those on there. It gives it a nice character and it breaks up the grain a little bit, but not so much that's a huge distraction. The branding on the front looks really nice. It's kind of like a laser engraving uh, inside of there or it's stamped. It's got some recess to it, but it's nothing overly done. And it just has a nice look on the front. And I really like where they put it at on the side of the tray. It's very subtle. It's not jumping out in your face or anything like that. And speaking of the tray, the tray is enormous. It's nine and three quarter inches long by six inches wide and it's three inches tall on the sides. And it's nice and tall like that because you can take the tower and collapse it down inside of there like this. So you can nest that down inside of there and then you can take it along with you inside of your bag or put it inside of a cabinet. 
but really, I don't know why you wouldn't want to leave it out and have it as a display piece. So this looks really, really nice. The wood that I have here is a walnut, and it's a nice deep brown color. Looks really good. I'm very happy with the wood choice that I have here. Now, let's take this and we're going to compare it to what I would consider is the industry standard. Alright, so most people think dice towers and any kind of premium gaming accessory or piece of furniture, you go to Wormwood, right? And that's what you immediately go towards. Now, when you compare the Nine Realms gaming tower and tray to the Wormwood tower and tray, it's really, really small compared to that bad boy. Now, just think of all the dice that you can get down inside of the Nine Realm Gaming that won't fit inside of the Wormwood one. Also, you can kind of see from the back there, look at how much larger the tray is on the Nine Realms Gaming tray. Again, that is six inches across. Now, if we get a little bit closer, you'll be able to see how much thicker the sidewalls are on this Nine Realms Gaming tray. We're going to zoom in here a little bit for that. Now, I don't have a set of calipers to tell you how much wider that is, but the Nine Realms gaming tray, you can see, is clearly thicker than the Wormwood gaming tray is. Now, coming out of the mouth of the tray, I do like this better on the Wormwood tray. It's got this small piece that kind of sticks out there, and that allows you to kind of lock your tray in place, and that's not present on the Nine Realms tray. It's not to say that it's a deal breaker, but I do prefer that more on the Wormwood one. All right, all right, so I hear you. You're yelling, just shut up, Dan, and roll dice through it. That's what it's meant to do. I wanna hear the plink plink sound and see the dice come out of it. And this is again where I wanna compare the two of them because they're very different here. So we're gonna start out with the Wormwood Tower and I'll show you how the dice come out of that thing. pretty fast and the side walls aren't as tall so they're not going to catch all the dice all the time. Now we'll run them through the Nine Realms Tower. A little more control. They don't come rattling out of there uh, as, as quick as the other side, which I prefer. So I'm going to give it to the Nine Realms Tower as far as actual rolling of dice which is the purpose of the dice tower and the tray. And notice the tray caught all of the dice. All right, so now we've seen this tower in play. We've seen how not to roll dice earlier in the video. This is definitely the way that you want to go to your gaming night. You want to pull this out, take out your, your rule books or whatever else you have, your character sheets, and then you're going to put this on the table and you're going to blow everyone else away. You're going to roll your dice. You're going to keep them on the table. You're not going to destroy anyone's miniatures and you're going to be happy that you took Essentially, what's the same amount of money that you would spend on the Wormwood Tower and Tray? And I don't have a problem with that, but I think your money's going to be better spent going with this set right here. This way, when you roll that nat 20, your dial stay on the table, and you're not trying to convince the DM that the one that's underneath of the bookcase is really a 20 when you go and finally fish it out of there.